Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Wednesday, we had another launch of a Falcon 9 rocket with the rideshare mission Transporter 5. The booster which launched this mission, B-1061, then landed successfully for the eighth time on the landing pad at LZ-1. They are placed Stage one transonic. They're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket, and they deployed just prior to landing, as we'll see momentarily. Stage one landing burn. All right, you can see that that landing burn has begun. Just before Falcon 9 lands, we're expecting the shutdown of the MVAC second stage. Uh, just after landing, one of our 59 spacecraft will not, that will not separate from the vehicle will activate, and you should hear that call out over the nets. Let's listen in for these activities happening in quick sequential order. Stage one landing like four. And back shut down. Stage one landing at all right, as you just heard, we had nominal orbit. And Musk posted a tweet saying Starlink approved by the Philippines. SpaceX captioned another tweet by Musk saying Starlink approved by Nigeria and Mozambique. They said first two countries in Africa with Starlink regulatory approval, Starlink is now licensed on all seven continents. SpaceX has got more missions to launch for the US government per a document released. It says in reference to the missions free to SpaceX for USSF-124, USSF-62 and one SDA Tranche 1 mission using the Falcon 9 launch vehicle. Michael Sheets posted a tweet saying SpaceX told the FCC in a presentation last week that its Starlink satellite internet now has over 400,000 subscribers. That's up approximately 60% from March's update of 250,000. Heading over to Boca Chica, here's the orbital launch mount. The booster quick disconnect cover extension was removed. These temporary buildings are being installed at the suborbital launch site. The work to finish the mega bay is continuing in the production yard. Work on the white mystery box is also continuing. On the left here is an interesting barrel section labelled E-Dome which is not something seen before. The E-Dome section was seen being moved. Here's a view of the nose cones inside the fabrication tent. A Ship 16 body flap was removed. During the last week, the Starship 24 prototype was rolled to the launch site. SpaceX posted some incredible pictures on Twitter of the Starship 24 prototype rolling to the launch site. Kevin Randolph posted a picture on Twitter of the payload bay door known as the PEZ dispenser that will allow the Starlink satellites to be deployed. He noted how much cleaner it looks now compared with previously. It's definitely looking a lot more ready. SpaceX performed some ambient proof testing of Starship 24 some days ago. During this testing, Ship 24 lost some heat shield tiles. Marcus House posted a picture on Twitter by Starship Gazer of some missing tiles on the Ship 24 prototype. He said a big pop noise on the SpaceX Starship 24 test saw a bunch of tiles fluttering to the ground. Here are those missing tiles mostly on the left upper side or right depending on which way you prefer. Starship Gazer posted a picture on Twitter with the caption workers just removed a very bent section of pipe from Starship 24, perhaps related to the bang noise and tiles falling off during cryo testing this morning. Looking at the road and beach closures on the Cameron County website there are a bunch of possible closures coming up. This coming week, there is a possible closure on Tuesday 31st and a closure scheduled for Wednesday 1st, possibly for testing. On Thursday 2nd, they also have another possible closure as well as Friday 3rd. The Starship 25 upper dome was sleeved with its barrel section. More Raptors are being moved into the Mega Bay to be installed in Booster 7. This is Raptor SN70. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, known as Boca Chica Gal, and Nick Ansuini for being out there filming the Boca Chica content. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. 
If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.